So this is a film for just as nuts and bolts saddos. You're going to say, Reggie, get alive. <laughs> get alive, get a nut and a bolt. So generally speaking, whoops, hold on. That's going to knack the film right. Generally speaking, generally speaking, everybody's idea is just, this is, that's a bolt with a shoulder. This is a nut and uh, washers. So generally speaking, that's everybody's idea of a nut and a bolt sort of thing. If you ask anyone, what's a nut and bolt? It's this, except this has got this um, waterproof Teflon coating. These are meant to go, uh, I believe, in the water. Anyway, anyway. So uh, when that collection came in, one of my uh, watchers thought that he'd recognised this uh, bolt. Oh, Reggie, Reggie, this is what we used to do whatever whatever he did. I, I don't really know. But can you see, look, it's a real special bolt because it's got a shoulder here, look. Um, it's got a pointed end. So I'm guessing you can't see where it's going in. It's to, to guide itself in. Uh, I need to ask the scout crafter so why would you have, are these flutes, are they, does this guy, does this bolt cut its way in? Does it make its own thread as it goes? Almost like a, a tap. Hmm, so what would be the reason for this here? Um, and what would be the reason to have that little extra shoulder? You know, just that little extra shoulder. And do you see this washer? You see this, um, it's built in, it's not a washer, it's not a certain shape, an off-centre off washer, look. It's, um, so I reckon it must go into something. I'm guessing it's driven by air tools or whatever in a production line of some sort. And then this must afford something, a bit of an adjustment. So there you're close to the hole, and there you're far away from the hole. I really don't know what purpose you would want this making to this specification. Um, and there's, you know, ordinary sizes, and these are these trucks drive. And there again, look, the washer, good washer, is um, built in it and a blunt end. So it makes it easy to get find going to a hole. Um, so, yeah, there are so many. Here's another one. I mean, why not just get a long one all the way and bolt it in? What's the purpose and what's the reason? Why would you, you know, you, if you were doing a project and you were doing a certain thing and you wanted that on, that would be fine. Uh, you'd probably make it at home or, you know, you're bodging something. But why would you? Why? What's that? What is it? Where's it come from? What's the purpose of it? You know, why would you want, and it's a smaller diameter on the, or a smaller size on the, on the top than what it is the bottom. Where the hell does that go? What the hell? I, a lot of these things I haven't seen now. I'm sure if you were to follow these to their proper place, they would make perfect sense. Oh yeah, we use this sort of bolt because of this sort of reason. But that's why... I've got, this is why I enjoy them. I've got so many and each one in its own way is different, either for its strength or for its durability or its size or you can never, and I'm, 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 I'm always finding or I'm always coming across new ones, ones that I haven't seen, big ones, little ones, you know, uh, big fat ones, uh, big fat ones as big as your hand, uh, or really long ones, really long ones down there. Look, this the nuts and bolts world is so diverse. So we're a bit like people, really. They call them fixings, but there are so many different ways and reasons and specifications and you know to do certain jobs a certain way 
they're so fascinating yeah so a, a nut and a bolt isn't just a nut and a bolt a nut and a bolt there's so many and i'm sure there's still loads out there that i haven't got them um, i'm i'm because they're so hard to get aviation they they reckon aviation bolts are another thing all over again yeah but i'm sure a scout crafter would make a much better explanation on why there are so many different types you know of sizes is obvious you know a big one or i want a big thing or i want a small thing but there's so many different 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 nuts and bolts and types of fixings and you know hmm i'm fascinated always by them all so i'd love to know what job this comes from hmm we're if does anybody know where that goes and um can they take a film of it and show us oh well reggie what happens is this does this and that does that and that's why you need that specific one with a what would you call that a fixed it's not even a washer it's a it's an offset washer uh, it, um, almost like a cam isn't it you would call that a cam like it would a camshaft yeah, on an engine, you know, opening and closing valves. Hmm. So, <laughs> so this film <laughs> is just for we very few nuts and bolts lunatics. Hmm. So this is just a quick explanation <laughs> why I am in my uh, man cave. Uh because look at it it's absolutely stinking out there <laughs> yeah, reggie why aren't you down the pub going on a pub crawl because i'm in my man cave which we should all have for our sanity and look at it out there look at the look at the bleeding weather out there it's a stinker isn't it it's a stinker out there so i'm in here well actually i was in here i'm about to go in <laughs> So anyway, bye-bye all. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone.